Welcome back to a new year of Math Counts Minis. And before we get started on these word problems, I need to say a special thank you to the great state of New Hampshire for hooking me up with my threads. Now let's get started on these problems. We got Allie plays basketball with her friends. She makes 10 baskets. If each basket is worth either two or three points, and Allie scores a total of 26 points, then how many baskets worth three points does she make? All right, now we've just got a word problem here. We know how to start with this, right? We're going to assign variables. We're going to build equations. I'll say x is the number of two-pointers. And we'll say y is the number of three-pointers. And let's turn these words into equations. She makes 10 baskets. That means x plus y is 10. And she has a total of 26 points. Now each of these two pointers is worth two points. So she gets two x points for the x two pointers. And she gets three y points for the y three pointers she hits. So we have two x plus three y equals 26. We have a nice little system of equations here and we know how to handle that. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this equation by 2. I'm going to multiply by 2. And that's going to give me 2x plus 2y is 20. And now I can subtract this equation. It's all nice and lined up for me here. I can subtract the second equation from the first equation. The x's cancel out. 3y minus 2y leaves us y equals 26 minus 20 is six. She must be a Steph Curry fan just sitting out there dropping in the threes because she hit six three-pointers. Now you know what to do, right? You know what to do. You don't just move on to the next problem. We're going to check this answer real quick. We're going to say, okay, six three-pointers, that's 18 points. That means her other four shots are two-pointers. That's another eight points. 18 and eight is 26. But the real gold standard, I mean, we checked it. We're pretty sure we're right. The real gold standard, let's do this problem again. Find another way to solve the problem. If you can solve a problem two different ways, get the same answer, you know you're right. Now, when I'm looking at a problem like this, I'm just going to take a quick guess. right? I'm going to say, what happens if all ten of her baskets are two-pointers? You know, she's like back to the basket under the rim. She's dropping in the layups. That's what she does. So if she does that, well, ten baskets, two-pointers each, that's only 20 points. So that must not be what she's doing because she needs 26 points. All right, so she needs six more points. The only thing she can do is switch some of these two-pointers into three-pointers. And each time she does that, switches a two-pointer into a three-pointer, she gets one more point. So if she had 20 points with just those two-pointers, and she needs six more points, she has to switch six of those two-pointers into three-pointers. Same answer, two different ways. We know we're right. We're moving on. On to the next problem. All right, we got Andre. He can complete five-sixths of a job in three-quarters of the time that it takes Michael to do the whole job. What's the ratio of the rate at which Andre works to the rate at which Michael works? This is confusing. Uh, we need to compare apples to apples here. We've got five-sixths of a job in three-quarters of the time. I want to be able to compare the amount of work they can do in the same amount of time. That'll let me compare the rate that Andre works to the rate that Michael works. So here's what I know. I know that Andre can do five-sixths of the job in three-quarters of the time. But what I want to do is I want to compare, I want to see what Andre can do in the same amount of time as Michael. All right, so I want a one over here. I want how much of the job in the same amount, one unit of time. So how do I do that? Well, I, I, I see I can divide by three here, right? I can say if he can do five-sixths of the job in three-quarters of the time, well, then in one quarter of the time, how much of the job is Andre doing? I mean, you might be able to see it jump all the way to the end on this one, but I can't. I, you know, I'm, I'm a little older than you are, so i got to move a little more slowly because I move too fast. I'm going to hurt myself. So I see three quarters of the time. Well, I take a third of that. And a quarter of the time, you can do a third of this. And one third of five-sixths is five-eighteenths. So you can do five-eighteenths of the job in one quarter of the time. And now we see where to go. We just multiply through by four. We multiply through by four. If you can do five eighteenths of a job in a quarter of the time, then I just multiply this by four and I find out he can do 20 eighteenths, which is the same as 10 ninths of the job in one unit of time. 
Now, of course, we're going to do the gold standard here. We're going to try to think about this problem in a slightly different way. Slightly different way. I like to think in pictures. I like to think in pictures. And I'm going to picture one unit at a time. Here it is. This is one unit at a time. Of the time that it takes Michael to do the whole job. This is how long it takes Michael to do the whole job. And what we're told is, I can split this into quarters, is that this three quarters right here, that, in that amount of time, Andre can do five-sixths of the job. So if he can do five-sixths of the job in these three equal pieces of time, well, we can just split that up. We can say this is five-eighteenths of the job he does over here, five-eighteenths of the job he does over here. And you can kind of see that this picture is just another way to look at how we did the problem up here. Because if you did them 5 18ths in each of these three equal pieces, well, there's one more equal piece out here. We know Andre's doing 5 18ths of the job out there. Now we just add them all up. We get 20 18ths of the job. That's how much Andre's doing. 20 18ths reduced to 10 ninths. So if you can do 10 ninths of the job in the same amount of time as Michael does the whole job, well, Andre's working at 10 ninths the rate of Michael. So Andre's faster, we want to hire Andre. So there you go, it's the gold standard. Do a problem two different ways, get the same answer, you know you're right and you can move on. And I'm going to move on to go find Andre because that man works fast.